It's time to crown a new World Heavyweight Champion tonight at Final Resolution. Magnus versus Jeff Hardy. And our Impact Wrestling main event is brought to you by the makers of Five Hour Energy. Interesting to watch the interaction between our TNA president, Dixie Carter, and Magnus as he makes his way down to the ring. In the mind of Magnus, it's time for him to make history. Magnus looks to become world champion for the very first time. Well, listen, if you're Magnus, you got to look at Dixie Carter like you, you know what? I mean, because <laughs> Dixie Carter just laid some heavy info and reminders to Jeff Hardy. Boy, did she ever. So, if you are Magnus, you might want to really worry now. What is Jeff Hardy going to do here in this match for the World Heavyweight title? Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is scheduled for one fall and is the finals of the World Heavyweight Championship title tournament. When the bell rings, the man in charge, TNA official, Mr. Brian Hebner. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the combatants. First of all, standing into my left, weighing in at 243 pounds, he comes to us from Cameron, North Carolina. He is the charismatic enigma. And now, introducing from Kingsland, England, weighing in at 248 pounds, this is Magnus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the rules of this matchup as follows. The winner will be determined by the first man to exit over the top of the steel cage and retrieve the World Heavyweight Championship above the ladder on the stage. This is Dixieland. This is it, tournament finals. Opportunity here for both Jeff Hardy and Magnus with the World Heavyweight Championship going to the winner. And our TNA president, Dixie Carter, up on the stage watching every move in our Impact Wrestling main event. Remember what she said to Jeff Hardy. Think about what's best for Dixie Carter. It's not what's best for Jeff Hardy and his family. Well, I'll tell you, the door is locked. So you, you gotta get over, you know, you gotta, you can't, you're not going through the door. There's a big old chain lock, padlock on that deal. But I gotta tell you, Jeff Hardy, rough night. Rough night so far for Jeff Hardy, in my opinion. Because there's been so much said to him about him. Accusations, all the stuff from the tippy top of the show by Matt. Magnus, the guy has to try to focus on being crowned the new world champion here. I mean, Dixie just said to him, you could be out of a job just like AJ Styles, and you need Dixie Carter a lot more than Dixie Carter needs you. Well, don't we all? I do. Jeff Hardy seems to be in the zone. I'm yeah. talking, Mike. Hold on. Jeff seems to be in the zone. You can talk now, guys. Offensive party. He's got it rolling. Able to spring with both boots right into the chest of Magnus. And that confidence level of Hardy only going to rise as he dishes out this offense. But escaping the cage, and you talked about the door being padlocked, exiting the cage by going over the top, that's just step number one in Dixieland. Well, yeah, and tell us too, Mike. I don't want to you know, upcut you. You've got to make your way up the ramp where the ladder is positioned, up at the top of the entrance ramp. You've got to climb the ladder, and you have to take down the championship balloon to become champion as Magnus quickly from behind and drop Hardy in his and tracks with that clothesline. Dixie Lane is perfect for this Dixie Carter because that's how Dixie rolls. That's how TNA President rolls. You've got to jump through hoops. She wants you to pay your dues, and that's what Dixie Lane is. Magnus looks to take care of step one in this two-step program. Going to climb up and no, going to deliver more offense and he missed with that patented top rope elbow. It's gained him many wins over the past year or so. Well, the question is, Mike, is this the time for Magnus? Everyone says this guy's got world champ written all over him. He's a future world champ. The future's now. Can Magnus do this? 
Jeff Hardy heads to the corner, and now is Hardy going to dish out offense, or is Hardy going to try and escape the cage? Look at this now in hot pursuit. Here comes Magnus right behind Hardy, and this is dangerous up there. Got to be careful for both men. You can hear the physicality. This is for the World Heavyweight title, man. Oh! Series of elbows. Then Magnus goes face first uh -oh. into the cage. Uh -oh. Watch uh -oh. Hardy fly. Oh, and he missed the swanton. The ultimate risk taker is Jeff Hardy. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. Let's take a look at the replay here. As I'm saying, sometimes you're the hammer, sometimes you're the nail. In this instance, Jeff Hardy, well, he was the man. Yeah. Watch this. Look at this. Yeah, all risk and no reward for the charismatic enigma. Final resolution, it's huge tonight on Spike, and you know that Genesis is next, because for the first time ever, Spike TV is bringing Genesis to the Von Braun Center in Huntsville, Alabama, live on January the 16th. Tickets on sale now. Log on to impactwrestling.com. Find out how you can be a part of what is going to be another unforgettable night of action. Now, Madness, he's trying to try and make it over the top of that cage for step one. But Jeff Hardy, he senses it. Wait, wait, wait a minute, is that EC3? What's EC3 doing out here? Uh, I don't know, you got me. I mean, I'm assuming just to support ND, I guess. I mean, it is Dixieland, hello. <laughs> World heavyweight title hangs in the balance. And you can see Jeff Hardy looking up at the ramp and seeing Dixie oh! Carter and Ethan Carter the third. Bad landing for Magnus. It's Magnus and Hardy. Who will prevail? Who will become World Heavyweight Champion? More of our main event after this. And ladies and gentlemen, we are back on Impact Wrestling. This is our final resolution main event for the World Heavyweight Championship. It's Jeff Hardy versus Magnus. Dixieland matchup, TNA president Dixie Carter up on the ramp whoa, whoa, whoa. watching. Of course, Dixie up there with, with her nephew EC3 is Hardy trying to go out through the, the camera hole. I was just trying to get out of here to get to that next step, and you see Magnus relentless hanging off to that ankle, pulling Hardy back in. Watch out, watch out! Oh, man, I saw that coming. Free leg of Hardy, able to not only connect with the blow, but give him separation where he can start the offense. Oh, even though, look at, that, oh, yeah. look at that, even though Magnus has a big time size advantage on Hardy, Hardy's so quick and the veteran will strike at any moment. What do you think Ethan Carter the third, Dixie's nephew, EC3, what do you think he is doing out here with Dixie? Mike, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what he's doing out here. I mean, he's a Carter. The world needs him and they can do whatever he wants, I guess. Right now, World Heavyweight title hangs in the balance as the cliche goes. But it actually, it literally does hang in the balance. It hangs above the entrance ramp. You've got to escape the cage number one. And then you've got to make your way up the ramp, climb the ladder, and take down the championship to win Dixieland and become the World Heavyweight Champion. I know all that. Anyway, so right now, look at this! Oh! That springboard back into a splash! I don't think I've ever seen Hardy do that move, but... It definitely grounded Magnus, and he might have hurt himself in the process, too. Yeah, the question is, is this going to inhibit? Is this going to stop Jeff Hardy from escaping the cage? You thought it was a move that when he hit it, it might give him that separation and allow him to get out of the cage and make his way up the ramp. You could see the angst on the face of Dixie Carter, our TNA president. She's looking at one of these men will be the new TNA World Heavyweight Champion at the conclusion of this match. Who will the big there it is! It could be Jeff Hardy, because that twist of fate that he just caught Magnus with, and he goes back and tried it a second time. But no, oh, wow. man, he got clipped. Great job, Magnus, very smart. Take out the wheel, the knee, the back of the leg of Jeff Hardy. It's a take perfect out, strategy. Oh, no doubt. You take out Hardy's leg, man, you're taking out a good 80% of that guy's offense. And at the same time, it stops him from being able to climb the cage as quick as he normally would and also climb the ladder to take down the title. Absolutely. And here, the Kingsley Cloverleaf which I renamed was the Texas Cloverleaf. You can see the pain oh. that Hardy's tapping out. It don't matter. This isn't a submission or pin type of match. But think of, of what that has done to stop Hardy's offense even more. Very smart. Back clips the knee, puts on the Kingsley Cloverleaf. 
and now you know Hardy's down and out, but he's hard. It's hard. It's hard for Magnus to climb out of this this cage here. Yeah, Magnus trying to make his way Fatigue, up you know, the side of the cage. You can see gasping for air right there, oh. and that enables Hardy to sneak in from behind and pull him down from his attempt to escape the steel. There's an opening right here, Mike. If you're Jeff Hardy, you got to try and go to the reserve tank and get some pressure on Magnus. Look at this kid, Magnus. He's too big. He's too strong. Oh, man. Power move by Magnus. Gives him the chance now to either go for more offense or escape the cage. Uh -oh. And he's going to go for more offense. Could be the elbow drop. Here he comes. Nailed it. Point of the elbow right in the sternum. Middle of the chest. Let's take another look. Watch the impact here of this huge elbow drop by Magnus. Bam! Oh, it's its mark, man. Great job. And again, one final programming reminder. Live in three on Spike TV this Saturday. It's glory kickboxing from Tokyo, Japan. And then later tonight on Spike, we'll set the stage with countdown to glory 13. World Heavyweight Championship now goes to the winner of this first ever Dixieland match here at Final Resolution. And Magnus' confidence level is rising. Definitely in the proverbial driver's seat is Magnus right now. Oh, wait a minute. Might have hit a speed bump there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whisper in the wind. It came out of nowhere. Both been down now. Both been down. Got to try to get to your feet. I mean, you got to get out of the cage. You got to climb over the top to get out of this cage one way or another. You got to get out of the cage. Get to that next step, Mike. Well, I think the move right there from Hardy caught Magnus completely unaware. Hardy hit it off the top, and now Hardy can take step one in Dixieland, and that's by escaping the cage. World heavyweight title on the line. Opportunity here. Jeff Hardy looks like he's looking good here to get to this next level. I mean, Magnus still down. I know. Hardy's in a great spot to get to the next level in Dixieland. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, what, what, wait, oh, oh, Hardy, what? No. He, no, no, you no. kidding me? Oh, my God! Whisper in the wind off the top of the steel cage? Are you kidding me? Complete insanity. Let's take another look here. A couple of different angles. Oh. Three, three angles I'm getting worried we're going to see. There's one. Look at this insanity. This is completely sick. There's the third. Looks oh. better every time. Yeah, it looks like this. True. Great stuff right there. Great camera work. Great athleticism by Jeff Hardy to leave it all out there. You got to get out of the cage now, Jeff. You got to get out of that cage. Yeah, but escaping the cage, that's just the first half of the process in Dixieland. Then you've got to go up the ramp. You've got to climb the ladder, and you've got to take down the World Heavyweight Championship belt to be crowned the new champion. So right now, Hardy, he's got a little momentum here, but look, look at Magnus. He's stirring around. Uh-oh. Yeah, both men we'll have a race here. We'll have looking, a race. looking to escape the steel cage at the same time. I think Hardy's slightly ahead at this point. Yeah, but you still got to run up that ramp. Yeah, that, that, that's out. the advantage for Magnus. He's on the ramp side of the well, cage. Well, look, 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 EC3. What? What is EC3? Questioning what? about EC3 being out here. What, what the hell? What? Well, I, yeah, I guess maybe the fix isn't. Jeff Hardy, maybe he did take the bait. This is all a ruse by Dixie and, and, and Jeff. EC3 coming out here to interfere in this match, trying to get Magnus involved, and Magnus kicking EC3 down off the cage. But now there's the opening for Jeff Hardy. He's got to try and get up that. Oh, wait. Look at this. Oh! Hey, Jeff Hardy's not going to take the bait. There's no oh. twist of fate by Hardy. Jeff Hardy is not going to play Dixie Carter's game. EC3 was just trying to help Hardy. Hardy's nuts. Too much pride in that guy. No, he wants to prove that he's the better man one-on-one -on -one against Magnus. That's what this is all about. Well, you're right, because now he's jumped on Magnus, and now Magnus Hardy. Boom, boom, punch for punch. This is good stuff, the physicality man. physicality between these two men fighting to be world heavyweight champion, and Magnus just rocked Hardy with the uppercut. Man, Mike... Dixie Carter, teammate present up on top of that stage. She's got to be pissed off that Hardy didn't take the bait. Got to be pissed off. And now Magnus, he's got the chance. Climb the ladder. Take, wait a minute, here comes Hardy back again. Watch out. There it is again. Oh. 
twist of fate on that time on the rim. Well, Hardy got gigantic pride and wants to win this thing on his own, as you were saying. And now he might be in that, get the opportunity to do just that. Gotta, I, 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 if I'm Dixon Carter, I would be living at Hardy right now for not taking this opportunity. And now Hardy, as he makes his way towards the ladder, he's got to come face to face with our TNA president. You can read her lips, she said, over my dead body. You don't cross the boss. And that's what Hardy did here. Oh. Whoa! Do you believe that? Well, he's hell-bent. Hardy's hell-bent on getting that world title up top of that ladder. And Hardy obviously not concerned about those warnings about his job earlier from, from Dixie Carter. Throws a shirt right in Dixie's face. And the crown of the world champion here. Hardy just take down the... Who is that? Who is that? Oh, my, oh my God. The oh. chief of staff. Oh my God, did you see that landing? What the hell? Did you see Hardy's head? Mike, watch oh, I saw it. Oh, hold on, watch this. God. Oh my God. Rockstar Spud. Look, watch this. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man, that was bad. That was really bad. I, I can't believe Rockstar Spud, this kid. He came through for Dixie here. One way or the other. And No, the Magnus. Don't, don't, don't do it. Don't do it this way. This isn't the way to win the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, he's doing it, Mike. He's doing it. He's going to do it big. I can't believe this. This kid Magnus, he's finally going to do it. And it's done. New World Champ. The winner of the match. And new. believe it the opportunity to make history the opportunity to become world heavyweight champion for the very first time yes magnus victorious but taz the story is how we accomplish that you're out of your mind that young man right there magnus did make history he is the new world heavyweight champion our teenage president dixie carter she couldn't be any more proud of that young man you can tell from her face what a match this was first time ever dixie land let's take a look at this off the top of the cage mike yeah incredible action during this dixie land matchup jeff hardy caution to the wind with the whisper to the wind and then rockstar spud out of nowhere sickening well, both Jeff, Jeff Hardy did not want to. Jeff Hardy did not want to take the bait of Dixie Carter helping him become world champ and do her bidding. Yeah, but, but Magnus cashed in, didn't he? You're damn right. Look at this. Well, that could be Jeff Hardy right there holding that world title, but instead, it's not. It's Magnus. Yeah. But the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy, he was faced with a choice, and Jeff Hardy would not take the shortcut to becoming world heavyweight champion. TNA president Dixie Carter, she has her world champion. It's not AJ Styles. It's not the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. It's not the icon Hall of Famer Sting. TNA president Dixie Carter, her new world champion.